We haven't gotten a new 3D Mario game in almost 4 years, and with the Super Mario movie coming out next year, 2022 is shaping up to be the perfect time to release a new 3D Mario game. But what would that game look like? For years, people have speculated that Odyssey 2 or Galaxy 3 would be the prime choice, but I'm not so sure. Bowser's Fury put a completely new spin on the 3D Mario franchise, and while it wasn't a full adventure, I could totally see Nintendo taking the series in that direction. Or would Nintendo take it in a completely new direction with what seems like a new era of Mario on the horizon? How's it going guys, Mac from the Switch Shop here, and with what seems like Nintendo's last chance to put a new 3D Mario adventure on the Switch? What does the future of 3D Mario look like? First off, let's go over what at this time seems like the most likely option. That in my opinion would be Odyssey 2. Super Mario Odyssey, only after 4 years, has already become the best selling 3D Mario game ever. With over 21 million units sold, it seems like a no brainer. It would be the easiest sequel to make because they could just use assets from the original game kind of like what they're doing for Breath of the Wild 2. It seems they are in a very similar situation with where they were with Galaxy 2 in 2010. At first they wanted to make DLC for the original game. With just too many ideas for new levels, they may have just pushed these ideas for a future sequel. We all remember the Isle Delfino leak from years ago, and that it most likely was cut last minute. If Odyssey 2 is truly in the works, I can no doubt see many retro kingdoms come back for it, kind of like what they did with Throwback Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. And lastly, I don't think we've seen the last of Cappy. After one of the most revolutionary additions to Mario's moveset in over 20 years, Cappy added a new layer of skill and finesse to one of, if not the most, fun and freeing movement styles in all of gaming history. It was so fun, in fact, that years later people kept playing the game just to push its movement to its limits. If we're getting a sequel, this to me is the most likely option. Odyssey was an absolute hit on the Switch, but with 2022 aligning up to be the perfect time to release a new game, this seems like the most likely option. Next we'll be moving from what was probably the most likely option to what I believe are the least likely options. Those of course would be sequels to Galaxy, Sunshine, and 64. With the release of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, a newfound excitement for these titles has skyrocketed in the past year and a half. Games like Super Mario Sunshine, who were basically all but forgotten before this release, were put back into the spotlight and given a fresh coat of paint to show just how great of a game it truly is. And with Super Mario 64 coming to N64 Online in the coming weeks, the possibilities of GameCube Online, or even crazier, Wii Online, become even more likely. So this begs the question, would Nintendo ever make a sequel to one of these games? I think that there's a pretty strong chance for this to happen. Actually, let me rephrase that. I believe that this is the only chance we'll ever get for sequels to these games. The Switch is Nintendo's golden goose, and apparently anything they put on the Switch will seemingly turn to gold. Animal Crossing, a pretty modest series with relatively average sales numbers throughout the series, shot out of a cannon back in March of 2020. And yes, while it may have been helped out by quarantine, I still believe with or without lockdowns, New Horizons would have sold astronomically compared to the past entries. The Switch makes small games big games and big games even bigger. Games like Super Mario 128, Super Mario Sunshine 2, or even Galaxy 3 are all possible while the Switch is in its peak years. But going into years 5, 6, 7, the Switch will surely start to show its age and slow down a bit. These next few years are critical if we want to see sequels to these amazing games, so cross your fingers because this might just be the last chance we get. Last February, Nintendo hit us with the biggest surprise they could have for a port of Super Mario 3D World. That of course was the addition of Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury is the newest addition to the 3D Mario catalog, but it truly is a weird one. Firstly, it's not truly a full game. Sure, it's got its own story and lots to do, but the core fact is that it's not too long. With the entire game taking place in Lake Lapcat, Bowser's Fury was able to take what was possibly the size of a large kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey and turn it into a full 5 hour adventure to go alongside the release of Super Mario 3D World. But why 3D World? Were they working on Bowser's Fury before they decided to release a port of 3D World? Or was it commissioned after it was already decided that they would release a port with a new side adventure? I think the former. Bowser's Fury, while still very cat themed, seems like the next step in the 3D Mario franchise, and less of a 3D World side adventure. When you strip away the cat suit and the big cast boss battles, you're left with what seems more like an Odyssey Kingdom than a 3D World spin-off. Bowser's Fury, while not being a standalone game, feels like the future of 3D Mario. Power-ups, large open-world-esque areas, this is the direction I believe the series is heading. 
It seems very similar to how 64 handled its levels. Playgrounds to let the player explore everything the game has to offer. Not straightforward paths like in games since, but gradual exploration of wide open areas. This is the direction these games are going, and I'm all for it. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, and like the video if you've made it this far. This is Mac from the Switch Up, signing off. Peace!